All right, I'm JD, and I'm your tutor for this evening. What we're going to be doing today are some determinants. This is a two by two matrix. It's kind of the, the basic determinant of the, of the bunch. And this is slightly more complicated. Once you get these things down, both the two by two matrix on how to determine it and the three by three matrix on how to determine it, it should, you know, it's kind of straightforward. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can do this on your own. All right. If you're looking at this the first time, you probably can't do this on your own. So if you would, just, you know, just take it all in one step at a time. All right, let's look at this one first. You want to take in consideration the diagonals. All right, this first diagonal right here that goes from up, down, that's going to be positive. So that'll be plus 2 times 5. Then you look at your second, second diagonal. It's going, it's going from down, up. And that's minus. So that's minus. And then you have these two numbers right here, which you multiply. 7 times a negative 3. Now notice I just put the negative 3 in parentheses to kind of signify multiplication. These other parentheses don't need to be there. And it's also to provide for that, that negative sign. And then what you do is you just simplify it. 2 times 5 is 10. And what's 7 times a, a negative 3? Yeah, it's negative 21. And again, you simplify it. Since it's a double negative, it's going to make it positive. So then it's 10 plus 21, which is 31. That's it. It's really straightforward for that guy. Now, with this, on the other hand, this is a little tricky. You got to remember the signs of the matrix. And it's based upon its row and its column. You basically take those numbers and you're going to have negative 1 and it's going to be raised to the sum of whatever the row and the column is. You don't necessarily have to memorize that, but that's where it comes from. But what's easier to remember is the checkered pattern. In the corner, it starts with plus, right? Because it's row 1, column 1. That's a 2. Negative 1 raised to the second power is 1, just positive 1. So that's positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative positive. Now, when you do matrices that are, that's more than a 2 by 2, you have to keep in consideration the sign. So, and then you want to basically produce sub-matrices. Sub so you look at the row and the column, and if you select the top row, whatever sign is there, that's the sign that you're going to have for, for that guy. So this is a plus 3. The submatrix is whatever it blocks out. So the 3 blocks out this row and this column. So what's left is the negative 5, 3, 2, negative 1. So that's negative 5, 3, 2, negative 1. Second, you have the 7. And it's a minus sign because of this. So look what's being blocked. Right? The center column. So you can see that. The center column and the top row. So you're left with 2, 1, 
3 and negative 1. 2, 1, 3, negative 1. Then you have your last matrix. The, the scalar in front is a 2. And then you have what's being blocked out. Right, so the row is being blocked out. It's whatever it's in. So since it's in uh, row one, column three, those are going to be blocked out. And so you're left with two, two, negative five, one, two. And you see, you can actually do those. And in fact, you can do them in your head. So I have this, this is plus, and this is minus. So negative five times a negative one gives me what? Yeah, positive five. Positive five. And then what's two times three? Yeah, it's a negative six. So then you have, well, it's not negative 6, it's positive 6, but remember, going this way, down, up, that's negative. So you have 5 minus 6, that's a negative 1. Now you do this determinant. So this is 2 times negative 1. You know, that stays the same, so it's going to be negative 2. This is uh, 1 times 3. 1 times 3 is 3, and that's going to be negative. So then you have negative 2, negative 3. It gives you negative 5. Then you have this. This is a positive 4. Then 1 times negative 5. That's a negative 5, but it's going to be negated makes it positive, so it's got a positive 5. Then you have all of that. So all you do now is you just simplify it. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 7. This is not a negative 7, it's a minus 7, but you can count it as a negative. That's fine. But just remember, you're going to put a plus sign here. So it's a plus. 35. Then you have 2 times 5. What's 2 times 5? Yeah, it's a piece of cake, right? Plus 10. So then you have negative 3 plus 35. Negative 3 plus 35, that's 32. Plus 10, that's going to give you a 42. And that's your final answer. And that is it?